Samantha. We definitely do do personal chef. So we, did, we have chef Mike and Brian. Were those the two we had come in? Uh, yes, we do do dinner parties. Big City Chefs is a personal chef company. We find, recruit, train, and staff the, what we think are the finest personal chefs in the country. What the fuck is up with Graham? This is totally pissing me off. This is totally looks unprofessional. Yeah, this is not acceptable. The energy in the office is definitely um, pretty hectic. Find the chef, get the menu, make the client happy. It's always a pleasure serving you, Lori, and we'll hope to hear from you soon. The hardest part of my job is dealing with Tom because he's so stressed. He always has so much to do. You never know what he wants. My job would be a lot easier if everybody else did their job the way I wanted it to be done. All chefs have creative personalities. They're very off the cuff, whimsical. There's so much sexual energy in the kitchen. You know what I mean? Everybody has to be attracted to that, right? <laughs> Another chef that we have is Chef Stewart. He's really good looking. Nice finishing um, touch to the meal. Exactly. Right. The ladies really like the Irish charm. Thank you so much, ladies. Yes, thank thank you. you. I am one of those kind of chefs that likes to look good, takes care of themselves. There are a lot of different types of chefs. Some chefs have huge egos. I don't like micromanaging. I don't like condescending people. And passive aggressiveness. Not interested. I'll get, I'll get pretty OCD crazy. I need to know that everything is clean. And if I'm looking at something, I need it to be clean even behind it. I want my dishes to convey. You ever watch The Simpsons? You ever see Homer think about something he likes and he goes, Oh, 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 drool. That's what I want to convey. The typical chef personality is definitely one that needs to be a little bit babied, needs to have their hand held a little bit. Graham, it's Samantha. I understand we're having a little bit of trouble with the Ventura client. They need chefs that are going to follow my lead as their boss. Did you get his email? Have you not been in touch with him? What's going on? I feel like I'm at the top level of what I do, uh, you know, a doctor or a lawyer or any other profession. I feel like I should be respected. I don't like to have to think that you have to hold my hand. I don't know why it's not being handled. Chefs, they're not your usual business people, and uh, it's hard to control chefs. You get a lot of high-end people looking for dinner parties in their house. You were from maybe dinner for two, for a romantic dinner, or we've had romantic dinner for three before, which I thought was a little weird. We've had parties up to 20 people. They want a chef in there to either entertain them or just serve them a really high-end, top-notch, restaurant-quality meal and bring the whole restaurant experience into their house. Most people who can afford personal chefs are very demanding in particular. I enjoy that pressure because you know you're going to be judged on a different level than you normally would. Hey, Josh. Hello. I have a problem. Hello. The um, elk is cold in the middle. Oh no. Yeah. Mine is ice cold. Cold in the middle? Cold in the middle. It definitely uh, shouldn't be served like that. The sweet potatoes were completely undercooked. If I ordered this in a restaurant, I would be pretty disappointed. Our clients tend to range from very spoiled prima donnas. For this particular event, let's have four chefs come that can impress my girlfriends and me. With the goal in mind of retaining one or two of the chefs for this really unique, fabulous event that we have for the San Francisco Zoo. I just wanted to come in and let you know that my friends are here and we'd like to sit at one and I wish you all the best of luck. You're a little bit late, so I'm gonna get you started. Everybody's ahead of you. She was late, and dinner's on at eight. Dinner's on at eight. It's not on at eight fifteen. Hi, ladies. How are you? She actually is the the one chef that was really late, and she chose to go first, maybe because the arugula was wilting. <laughs> <laughs> they had time to fit us in between spa treatments, and that's amazing. We're so blessed, right? I mean, geez. We're dealing with clients that have very strange requests. So they look delicious, but it seems a little bit small for four. You have three guys now? I have George, and then I have Ruthie and Irwin. Ruthie and Irwin are here? Is this for the dogs? Yeah, they're hungry. OK. <laughs> I hope they like medium. <laughs> Never cooked for uh, dogs before. It's all a lot of people pleasing all the time. To Maddie's meal. get a, a sort of a glimpse into a secret world of glamour, weird personalities, and craziness. We have artistic people, crazy clients, and beautiful food and wine in the culinary capital of America. What could be a better recipe for disaster and excitement all at the same time? <laughs>